In station ears, when you want a precise mix of gas for your welder or a furnace, the gas mixer is an obvious choice. But there are some subtleties that can bite you in the butt if things are not perfectly aligned. The root of most of these problems is that the ratio you set on the dial is only the ratio you get on the output if the temperatures of the two inputs are identical. If they differ significantly, it can throw off your output significantly. I spent quite a while figuring out the math governing the behavior of the gas mixer, and this video will replicate some of the experiments I performed. Here I have some nitrous oxide and volatiles in storage, and I set up some AC units to condition them to specific temperatures. They are hooked up to a gas mixer. I also have an IC that samples sensors, performs some calculations, and displays the results. On the left display, we will show the change in moles of nitrous oxide within the output pipe. On the right display, we will show the change in the moles of volatiles. The lower display will show the sum of the products of those moles with the input temperature. Why? Because looking at some of early results, I notice that this value holds steady under various input conditions. Hydration critical. Seriously? I, I'm in creative mode. Rocketworks, do you even play your own games? Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Let's start with pure nitrous oxide and no volatiles, and adjust the mix to see how the values change. Now let's change the temperature of one of the inputs and see how that changes things. Hunger critical. This again? Don't! What is special about the value 7,312? It turns out this is related to the volume of the pipe network on the gas mixer's output. If we change the volume of the pipe network and rerun the mixer, the number changes. Thanks to the ideal gas law, which holds in station years, we can also relate it to pressure. The gas mixer adds 101.3 kilopascals to its output each tick. After running these experiments, I came up with a sequence of equations that are useful for achieving certain gas mixes. Let's see how these equations can be used to target a gas ratio. Let's take our temperature mismatched input gases and target a 50-50 mix. That was pretty easy because we were starting with no gas in the pipe. But in some cases, you already have gas in the pipe, for instance, operating a furnace. And maybe you need to achieve a target ratio that the destination pipe does not yet have. Let's take the gas we already loaded into the pipe and compute the correct gas mixer setting to load more gas and achieve a different target ratio. This mixer ratio is impossible, and that indicates that we cannot achieve the target ratio with a single tip of gas. So let's use the clamp value to configure the mixer and send in one pulse and then recalculate. Almost there. Let's calculate round two. Oh, so close. Just, uh, flawless victory. 
You too can perform precision gas mixing using these formulas. Hydration critical. 